I did not want to kill any of my opponents. But I have to say that today I regret it. Today I regret it. The influence of Christ's consciousness of just love everybody unconditionally um, did not get me to where I needed to be. Because today I'm under the influence of cause and effect, not right and wrong. And I think there is no escape for anybody from karma or from their own actions. Nobody's above this universal law. It has nothing to do with cultures. And I tried so hard to save my father's life. If I wasn't in the picture, they would have killed him a thousand times. Saying that he's, I thought to myself, he's moderate, he's in a political way, he's not a military way. But this is the problem of this is a moderate and this is extremist. Then you go into this rabbit hole and you never find your way out. I thought to myself, no. You are complicit in Hamas crimes. Then uh, you uh, qualify for uh, the same punishment as uh, any of their uh, attackers on October 7. And this is why I had to take a moral stand and say, all Hamas leaders must be executed. What happened on October 7 was a capital crime. A genocide cannot be taken late, uh, lightly. This is not just uh, an act of resistance. Uh, to wipe out 20 plus communities based on their ethnic background, based on their religion, uh, is not an act of resistance, is not justified. Killing babies, killing children, raping women, kidnapping hostages, killing animal, burning trees. Nothing gets worse than this. And it requires captured crime. And I had uh, the thought, what about my father, who I loved very much, who disowned me 14 years ago? I never gave up on him. I was like always, you know, in my heart, this is my father, I love you. What, whatever, you know, you did necessary to just shun me and throw me to the mouth of death, it's no problem. I'm, as long as you are okay. But after October 7, I had to make a very difficult choice because this is where or when we have to draw the line. All of us are connected to a certain interest that this is a family relationship, this is a love relationship, my relationship to this property, my personal interest to a certain degree. Hence, we compromise the truth. Even though the obvious truth that what happened on October 7 is wrong, it doesn't matter. If they, if Muslims did it, they are wrong. I don't care. If they are Buddhist, if they are Americans, it doesn't matter who they are. It was wrong. And I take the moral stand. My father is complicit in this. And especially when I saw him on the top of a demonstration supporting Hamas in our town in Ramallah, this was the moment that I thought, he's not my father anymore, cannot be. And the hostage situation was very hard that I didn't know how Israel is going to bring those hostages back. And Hamas want mass murderers to be released. Happened to be same people who were torturing prisoners on my watch and happened to be the same uh, mass murderers who carried suicide bombing attacks during the second Palestinian Intifada, like Ibrahim Hamid and Abdullah al-Barghouti, people I knew personally. These people, Hamas is asking to release. And we cannot release them. We cannot put them back to the streets for innocent hostages, such impossible situation. So my suggestion, and this is, again, you know, the Israel, I knew the Israeli government w will not do that. I give them the permission to execute all these mass murderers because if, if they were executed from the beginning, Hamas would have not kidnapped a one-year-old hostage asking for their release. But then what about my father, my own father? Is he an exception? 
he could not be an exception. No one can be an exception if they are complicit in a genocide. 